Greetings and salutations, internet! So, um, I'm sorry this is coming out to you so late. I completely forgot that it was Friday and I completely forgot that it was the Friday of the fortnight that I was supposed to deliver a vlog for you. Um, so I had nothing prepared. Um, I figured I would uh, follow on a meme that I saw uh, Grace Helbig do. Um, most everybody who's on YouTube knows who she is. Daily Grace, if you haven't seen her channel, check it out. It's very, very funny. She's hilarious and it makes me happy. Um, anyway, the meme was uh, 50 interesting or 50 random facts about yourself. I, I wrote them out. Let's hope I can read my own writing. Alrighty. I was born in Ecuador. I, I was born an Australian citizen. True story. I was also born a Canadian citizen. Yay, dual citizenship. Growing up, I had absolutely no childhood heroes. I spent most of my childhood wishing that I was an elf. Not even joking. I used to run around. Well, suddenly there was light. I used to run around the backyard with a pretend bow and arrow. And um, when it was time to be inside, I would often be found in front of the mirror trying to give myself elf ears. I would literally stand there and do this. Hoping against hope that my ears would just stay pointy. Never worked. I also spent most of my childhood wishing that I had black hair. Before I started high school, I wanted to be a fighter pilot when I grew up. Things have changed. My first ever crush that I can remember was on Optimus Prime. I'm not even joking. A 40 story robot? Sure, why not? Shut up, he had a sexy voice. M my first ever hum human crush um, was on MacGyver. Blonde mullet and all. Oy. My first ever crush on <laughs> somebody I actually knew in real life. My first ever real life crush was on an extraordinarily talented musician from Brisbane. In grade eight. He turned out to be gay. Christ, my adult life makes so much sense now. The first ever draft or the first ever book that I wrote was 400,000 words long. And I found out later that that's actually the length of four books. I am currently a receptionist. It's not glamorous, but it pays the bills. I'm a feminist. Did I lose most of you there? Sorry. I just don't think that women are inferior to men. I don't think we're particularly superior either. I happen to think we're all human and we should all get the fuck over it already. Um, you may or may not be able to tell. I'm a bit of a dragon nut. Dragon. Dragon. And um, you actually can't see it, but beneath that I have a dragon incense burner. I like my dragons. I have had dreams that came true. Looking at you, David Schoolman. I'm terrible at keeping in touch with people. I am so bad and I'm really, really sorry. I have, I, I just, time flies and I realize that I haven't kept in touch with some of the people I probably should have. I'm sorry. I'm a sexual assault survivor. Surprise. Bet you weren't expecting that. Sorry to drop that on you. What can I say? I made it through, all right. It weirds me out a little bit when I admit that this man is attractive to me. He's younger than my little brother. Oh, it's weird. I am extremely active. Uh, in the summer, I train equestrian archery. Uh, I also train usually four nights a week, three hours a night. 
kung fu, kickboxing, and Chinese weapons. I'm not very good at kung fu. I'm much better at kickboxing. I train a lot, and I'm still a little bit chubby because for reasons. Food is tasty. Some people in the past have mistaken my discomfort around new people and new situations as my being an incredible snob. In their defense, I am an incredible snob. I mean, stupid people offend me and I tend to avoid them like the plague. Sorry, stupid people. I can count the number of people I consider my friends on one hand. Um, because I have so few friends, I am extremely protective of the friends I do have. Sometimes a little overbearingly so. They are the family I got to choose. I get really, really, really aggravated if I don't train martial arts for a while. You can always tell when I'm on break from martial arts because my shoulders are up to my ears and I look like I'm ready to fight just about anyone. Yep. Sleep is incredibly important to me. I tend to do a lot of it, mostly on Saturdays day. Uh, if my weapons collecting habit continues, my first house is going to require an armory. When I grow up, I would like to live on a large piece of land in the country with absolutely no neighbours and a herd of horses. My favourite breed of horse is a Frisian, also called Belgian Black. My favourite season is autumn. Thunderstorms are by far my favourite kind of weather. I do not have a favorite band or genre of music. It's usually what happens to speak to me in the moment. My favorite undomesticated animals uh, would have to be... Wild cats, the big cats. I do not have a favorite film, but Pan's Labyrinth comes pretty damn close. I am a Scorpio, if you believe in that kind of thing. I am a self-identified sapiosexual. <laughs> Translation is, brainy is the new sexy. Though for me it was never the old sexy. I can't help it. Intelligent people turn me on. If you are capable of carrying an intelligent conversation with me, I will probably try and jump your bones halfway through. No, I'm joking, I won't, but I think about it. Contrary to popular belief, I'm straight. I am also currently single. I want children. I'm not really certain about the husband, though. I write speculative fiction, mostly. Even though I'm self-published, I still hope to be traditionally published one day. That'd be awesome. The number of rejections I've received from publishers and agents, I have no idea why I'm still trying. But I can't not try. It's a defect. Um, I tend to write stream of consciousness style. I have no idea where the story's going. Well, I have the ending of the story and I have the protagonist and then I just write. And what happens to the protagonist as they advance to the end of the story is up for anyone's guess. I have no idea. It's as much fun writing a book as it is reading a book, honestly. Because of the style that I write, I trust that my characters know what they're doing and I trust that they're capable of making their own decisions. I, if ever I get stuck in a spot, I will just walk away from it for a while and by the time I come back, usually my characters have figured it out for themselves. There have been instances where I have spent weeks and weeks in mourning for characters that I have killed off. My mother even once got a distraught phone call where I fully couldn't speak for a few minutes because I was so busy crying. Sometimes the stories I'm working on give me nightmares. I have had night terrors because of stories that I've been writing. True story. It's horrifying. If I couldn't write, I think I'd die a little bit inside. Right, so there we go. Those were my 50 random facts about me. Do a video of random facts, 50 random facts about yourself, and then post that video as a video response to this video. Because YouTube simply isn't invasive enough. Bye! I probably should have brushed my hair.